So obviously when I say heal, it has everything to do with why the attractive females should submit to me, along with everyone else. But let's focus on the attractive females in this video. There are spiritual reasons I'll get into. True health. This goes beyond you know, being made unhealthy because you're sabotaged for doing the right thing, but true health. True mental, spiritual, and physical health of you. True principles. A true scale of what you have to gain and what you have to lose. Okay, let's weigh this out. Let's put it in its proper context. And let's understand that I have made contact with the spiritual realm by using sacred morality, the spirit of righteousness and love, and this deep desire that I balanced with respectable brain function and respectable and a respectable soul okay, to connect to love with truth and no controlled opposition techniques to find my life, but only concerned with doing God's will. So number one, true love cannot be achieved through conformity with corporate sponsored movements. They create the repetitive, the repetitiveness and the repetitive shallow behaviors that don't allow for love. Basically, people are in the repetition of being shallow. And this does not allow for love. You can't just one day tap into true love. True love is something you attain by walking in righteousness, right? Insisting on true justice. And as this heart that insists on justice, what is truly right for everybody, on the truest level, no wordplay, just truth. Okay? This heart finds somebody and then pours their passion into them. Okay, And this, this truth comes from obeying the divine order. Because how can you insist on true righteousness if you don't give the top martial artist his rightful place? That is far worse than insisting that you're doing right by your child when he's sick and needs to go to the doctor, but you don't take him to the doctor. And you insist that you're taking care of them. God is love and righteous indignation when love clashes with the world energy. The world is evil. God is love. How can love make nice with evil. It must insist that the evil goes away or it, it obeys and transforms into good. It's the only way it can. If you can't see that the people who say they have love and have found their lives uh, don't have it, then you are an idiot. Okay, How can you have love if you are making nice with this energy of evil, this world energy? And, and then, um, you know, you are conforming. And again, it goes back to what I said about you can't be in the repetitive uh, existence, the repetitive behavior of shallowness and magically come into this intense, deep love spirit. Right? The brain doesn't work that way. Love doesn't work that way. You know. Number two, the world is sealed with loony, rapist accomplices and accomplices to mass murder after I die. Playing stupid is what they'll do. They'll be snickering, making childish jokes, faking manhood so they can fulfill different sort of rape called fantasies. And we see this in the Greco-Roman mysteries. I suggest you look into them if you don't believe it, right? This is something man has been doing for quite some time. It's nothing new. It's absolutely what we'd expect him to do. Just like watching porn and doing role plays and all the all the strange sexual behavior people do, we expect them to keep doing it. And the main strange sexual behavior they do is insist on a profane, fake kind of love, if anything, while they're acting strange with their strange sexual behavior. Number three, if your family has decided to join these crazies, let whatever happens to them, happens to them. It is, it is that simple. Number four, the resurrection argument. The martial arts spirit, right? The hero is the master. Do you really think God will listen to somebody 
It was in the repetition of shallowness, or playing stupid, or pushing a corporate line, doing tons of people wrong, and then they pray to God like me, 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 while they're in denial, while they're causing harm, while they're while they're raising, you know, while they're rebelling for the wrong reasons or focusing on shallow things. Compared to righteousness, even food and shelter for the poor is shallow. Why clothe them? Why give them food? If they're going to insist on being evil and not put righteousness first, certainly that is an inferior cause. Who should expect that God would listen to someone doing that over someone like me? The spirit force that I tap into, God's true spirit, he is the creator, he is the spirit of righteousness, intense, true love. So this, this idea allows me to connect to that love. It is more than just a feeling we see here. It is truly connecting to something else best described as spirit, the spirit of God, which is the love that good people have for each other that has a source, okay? In this sense, I can resurrect all those good people who died who are right with God. And even if you don't perceive yourself as coming from a, a line of good people, again, you must choose what is truly right over flesh, the human family over the individual's perceived family. Number five, Who is the healer who really wants to fix you? You know, I come from a long line of people that insisted on loving people and taking care of them. My dad is no exception. His parents are no exception. Okay, They loved humanity and they insisted on doing the right thing. My mom showed a great devotion to my father. Okay, And she was a doctor as well who gave up her practice to team up with the person that she thought was the best man around as one of the most intelligent women in, uh, in a, of her generation. Okay. This is no small thing. Okay? And no eccentric behavior can take away from that. Number six. The source of love in this world will be closed right, after I'm gone. All you'll see is sickness and spiritual death and people choosing the flesh. People that allow all the righteous to be screened out so they can team up with greedy politicians, with greedy people, and be the servants of corporations that aren't capable of healing themselves. This takes a lot of exploring genetics and philosophy. And, well, really not philosophy, but logic. You know, who's related to who and what does it mean? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. A people, right? And why is that? Why is that exactly? This takes a lot of soul searching, a lot of separating yourself from the situation and just truly analyzing the facts, truly analyzing what you know and not being fooled by science and, 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 and propaganda in, in, in uh, publications and the media, but truly looking at this thing for what it is, the unavoidable idea people who wipe out all the good people on the planet can't then turn around and say, we are going to find love. They can't turn around and connect to the source of that love. Okay, It's not right. It's not fair. They deny me my children. They deny my children a chance to live a decent life. You know, if I had some, you know, they have no right to then call upon God for forgiveness. God said, here is my son that I love. Listen to him. Number seven, martial arts principles, honor, morality, determination, dedication, valor, virtue, okay, discipline, truth, love, marshaling, to order, to arrange. Going back to number six, who can arrange things in the true martial arts spirit and who wasn't the hero, the master, who and didn't emerge? As mind control becomes extreme, Certainly, God has made the con collective consciousness of every righteous person aware, and they know they must act before it is too late. After I die, it will be too late. So the martial art principles couldn't exist. Everything connected to martial arts in its true form can exist in a pure form on earth after I die. 
Okay? And these principles also scream why you're better off being screened out with me than living some shallow, yuppie life somewhere, for example, or any other life anywhere. Number eight, you die with honor and a sound life direction with sound choices. When you look back at it, you say, you know, if you're on your deathbed, for example, you say, I made the highest moral decision in life. That is no small thing. The ancient Egyptians are said to have prepared their entire lives for their death just so they can cross over with that idea intact. And absolutely, it's a martial arts idea. Number nine, you know, a true martial arts, Horus, son of Ra, right? focused, intensity, the higher sight, he who has the bird's eye view from the highest level, well, he who is afar, okay? you can also land and so on and so forth, right? Horus, son of Ra son of the sun, the marshalling force of the sun, which is the spirit of God, not to be confused with worshiping the sun itself. Number nine, defy the evil in this world. I tell you, as somebody who despises evil, you cannot value this number enough. None of these numbers you can value en enough. You never truly, you can, you can try as hard as you can. These things are of the utmost importance. You defy the evil in this world. These are evil, evil, horrible, horrible people that run this world and they get people to do horrible, horrible things and many, many people suffer. Okay, it's extremely important to defy that evil and to not join them. Number 10. Do all the innocent people a great service. Right? It's of the utmost importance, right? What is the best thing you can do for these people? Sell your soul so you can help them live longer to sell theirs? Or give them a strong example of of what is right and let that example and and your spirit kind of influence the world after you're gone um, let's see number 11 set the highest moral example one can oh, I kind of got into this in number 10 but yeah it's very important so I've added to this you know set the highest moral example one can number 12 I put this one, uh, you know, it connects to number nine, defy the evil in this world, but it's important I say it as such. Defy the rape called energy of this world. Don't reward it with your complicity. When people are living in illusion, right, mental illness, illusion, and ill-gotten gains are connected. Spell, right, a magic spell, all this confusion, illusion, okay, you're connected. Defy that stuff. Don't be a part of that. Don't be a part. This is the only way to separate yourself from it. You say, how do I separate myself from it? Well, you die. Now, if you, you know, you, well, you accept being screened out, right? One way or another, the only way to do it is die. Now, if you're not going to die right away, you be screened out with somebody who's in the true spirit of God, who's insisted on pure truth, and that must include not robbing the top martial artist out of his right to lead. You must say, you are a better person, right? You're better at what? Martial, martial arts, martial to mean to order, to arrange. He is the leader of the army, okay? And God is his God, the one true God. And as a God is all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-good. And he has put this task before you. And it is insulting to God to think that what, what little he's asked relative to what he's offering is too much. The flesh of, of your family, perhaps, you know, at, at best, okay? They might not even be killed if, if you make the choice to stand with me. The, your flesh, oh no, your flesh, you're going to die anyway. You know, what he's asking is really small when you really put things in perspective. Yeah. And there's tons of evidence, so patterns of nature. I'm almost out of time, so let's go to the next one, okay? Number 13, the drugging just elevates him. So these people are covertly drugging me. This has stopped me from making this video where I make more powerful arguments than everyone else. This is just a hurdle that I have conquered. It means that God is respecting my movement even more. You can't say because this guy's sabotaged, because Jesus is put on a cross, for example, in the Bible, whether you believe it or not, right? The moral of the story isn't don't listen to him because he was put on a cross. How stupid would that be? Or if he said to die with him, don't die with him because he's put on a cross or because he's sabotaged. That's stupid. Okay, number four. What is life without true honor and true love and what is sex without true love? Okay. It is just disgusting. Right? You're just animals doing disgusting things if you don't have true love. So number 14 is important as well. Well, I'm out of time.